particular to this building. Um, but I did find one, um, an interesting story about a woman who died in this area, and I'm going to give you that story. If there was likely to be somebody who would haunt this area, this would be the gal. And her name was Ogarita Henderson. The story passed down by Ogarita Henderson's descendants is that Ogarita's mother, the actress Martha Lozola Mills, met John Wilkes Booth at a ball in Richmond, Virginia in the late 1850s. They married in January 1859, but kept the marriage a secret. They shared a house in Virginia where Ogarita was born in October 1859. Ogarita followed her mother into acting, first appearing on the stage at age 15 under the stage name of Ogarita Wilkes. Pictures show a strikingly attractive woman. In addition to being beautiful, she was apparently quite talented and she was a very notable touring artist. Throughout her life, she talked about being Booth's daughter and the claim was widely regarded as true. In fact, for the last eight years of her career, Ogarita used the stage name of Rita Booth. Ogarita Henderson never lived in Burroughs County. She just had the misfortune to die here. Her death was sudden and sad. The 32-year-old was acting as a, at the old Stone Opera House on Shenango Street in Binghamton with the Floyd Crowell Troupe on April 10, 1892, when she collapsed on stage with what was later diagnosed as pneumonia. Today, probably antibiotics would have cured her, but they didn't have that at that time. Um, she died on April 12th in a theatrical boarding house at 127 Court Street. I don't know who's term, so. Despite intense efforts to save her. The Stone Opera House later became the Riviera Movie Theater. The building still stands today, um, although it's no longer used as a theater. So um, that's Ogarita. If there's anybody who would like to haunt this area, she seems a likely candidate. Um, we do not know of any other particular ghosts, although we did hear from a few last year, um, one of whom was some sort of employee. So we'll find about more about that as we go along. So how this is going to work, we will split up into two groups. Um, and we have six stations that will go through out the theater. Um, there are some flashlights on the piano behind you, um, if you need a flashlight. Some of the places are not overly bright. Um, we've tried to light up as much as we could, but a flashlight may be helpful. Um, if you're walking through the auditorium area, if you could stay on the carpeted path, that would be helpful because there are these little mushroom type things in the center um, where the seats used to be. That was actually um, how they used to heat and cool the facility. So most theaters have some such thing. If you look at the forum, they have the same um, type of thing underneath the seats. But they're very easy to trip on, so just be careful. Um, so what we'll do is uh, we'll go to different areas of the building. We'll use different devices um, that are and techniques to use for paranormal investigation. And we'll go to each, um, each area for 20 to 30 minutes. And then I'm not sure where, I'll either yell or make a sound or something um, and we'll change to the next step. Yes, so at the very, the last station, everybody will come back onto stage. You can again have some stuff to eat or drink um, if you would like. We'll kind of talk about a little bit about what happened and what your thoughts are, and then we'll do another technique. 
Yes, if we, before we do that, uh, very important. If you need to use the restroom, we do not have a restroom in this building that is functioning. So um, we can use the firehouse, just flag one of us down or just find, I'll be on stage most of the time, find me and I'll find somebody who will help you um, walk over to the firehouse and get in there and get comfortable again. And watch your steps. Yeah. Um, on the stairs and throughout the building. So um, we would like to take, let's, I'll let you talk and then we'd like to take a group picture. Um, we did one last year and it was, it was fun. So um, we'll get, I think, when we get to that, if we kind of put our backs to the auditorium, it's kind of nice to see the theater behind us. So this is Gina Kapari from Empirical Paranormal. Good evening, everybody. Okay. Thank you for coming. Um, so I um, would ask that everybody takes their cell phone. You can mute it. Uh, if you want to take pictures or use it for recording, that's fine. Um, the reason why we ask you to mute it is when we do our um, EVP sessions, which are electric voice um, phenomenon, we use our recorders. So um, we don't want any, any contamination whatsoever. Um, also, like I said, you can take pictures you if you have equipment, you know, break it out, of course, you know. Um, you could investigate with us. Everybody, I want everybody to investigate. I want you all to be a part of this, ask questions. Feel free to be a part of it, okay? Um, also, um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what we caught last year. Um, last year, we were on stage, I was doing an essence session up here, and um, they asked, are you here? So some of the people that were with us were taking video and pictures up that way, up on the um, balcony. We had a, a figure appear, a shadow figure start appearing, and um, we actually got it on film. So it's on our Facebook page and our, our YouTube page if you want to check it out. Um, we had um, down in the basement, it was an area called the Cigar Room, and we have these um, little devices they call it, they're called REM pods, and it detects cold, distance, heat and all that, um, so we had it set up, and that kept going on. And um, we also have a device called an SOS camera. I don't know if anybody knows what that is, but um, it's a little camera made by like a flip connect from a, place, was it PlayStation, John? Xbox, okay, Xbox. And what it shows is like a, a stick figure. I don't know if any of you watch any of the shows and you've seen like the stick figure. Um, so we had that showing up at the same time, and it was really communicating, you know, through the REM pods, and a few of us got touched. Um, so you will find that you might get touched, or you might hear a voice. We heard audible voices last time we were here. Um, so you never know what we're going to get tonight. We might get something different. Are you guys all ready? Yeah. All right. So I'll hand back over to Chris. Okay, so let's line up for the picture and then we'll split up into groups. Okay. I'm going to set this down. I'm going to set this down. Just setting the camera down for a few moments while we do a photo. Uh, should only take a couple minutes for us to do this group photo.
Okay. Okay, we're breaking up into two groups right now. Excuse me, sir. Excuse you, madam. Where are we going first? Uh, organ loft and dressing rooms. All right. So that's over here. Yeah. Oh, uh, it, it's it, it's not as bright as mine. All right, everybody in our group, follow. Oh. Let's go. Okay. 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 Dom, don't forget your uh, ghost box. Okay, up the stairs. All right, I gotta. All right, you guys follow him. I'm gonna go up last. Sure. Shut off. Right. I'm going to do that one ride. How about you guys? Oh my gosh, so 
Okay. I'm going to get my recorder out as well. Give me a sec here, guys. Starting the BP session a little further. The uh, order room. Has any, any equipment? Feel free to break it out. Okay. Ashley Raymond. Raymond? Yeah. I uh, apologize to the people in the corner. I have to turn this up just a little bit. You might want to just. Uh, you want to move that? Okay. gentleman that used to work here that I saw here the last time. Are you here? The worker. Okay. If you're here, can you touch one of our devices on the floor? They light up really pretty colors. Light up our, the balls or touch our device. They will light up really, really pretty colors if you remember when we were here last time and you were playing with them. I'm getting a no. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't want to play. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Okay. Can you knock on something? Make a loud noise. Is there anybody here that used to work here when it was a regular theater, not a movie theater? Huh? Gilbert. Gilbert. Yes. I got a no. Are you coming back to the list? Okay, straighten the rod, please. Thank you. Okay. Anybody want to ask questions? Feel free. Away. And just so you all know, my phone is on airplane mode, so technically nothing should be able to come in and act around, act, interact with my phone at all. Are you an introvert? Is that why you're so shy with all these people around? Because they're pressuring you in a <laughs> social way? Like, it's fine, I get it. She's probably talking to you, baby. <laughs> I'm feeling it, man. You're feeling it, me too. I'm getting kind of like that. Right now. It's kind of half hearted, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's how it is. Yeah. Mine started to, but. Is there a female here? Like this? I'm getting that one. Okay. Is there a male here? any children here? Oh, thank you. Can you do that again, please? Is there any children here? I got a yes. Yep. Okay. Can you touch that light again, please? 
Can you please touch that light again on the floor? It lights up really pretty. If you touch all of them, they light up all different kinds of colors. There's purple, yellow, green, blue. Go ahead and touch it. Yeah. Will you play music on your phone? Like something <laughs> of like back in the day, like um, what would be a good when was this really good? Uh, back in the early 1900s, uh, Johnsons built this. Yep. Okay, okay we're gonna put some music on. Hang on. Yeah, and uh, the Johnsons built this. They're there for everybody okay. to come. If we put music on, you, we want you to touch the light. Okay, here's your music. Yeah, like Baldville time. Can you hear it? You can hear our music. Touch our lights. I got a yes. Can you touch our lights for us? We put music on for you. I'm a child? Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. I, felt, I thought there was a child here. That's why I asked. If you touch the little balls, it's all different colors. You ask us to play music, I'm asking you to touch our lights for us. Please. If you, want, if you wouldn't like to light up the lights, can you use my rods and point to the direction of where you may be in the room? Thank you. Please straighten the rods. Oh, look at mine. Thank you. Do you like this music? Yes. Are you done with the music now? Can I show it off? Can you touch our lights for us? I bet you can't touch that again. Can you touch that light again for us, please? It won't harm you. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be shy. Are you timing this, Scott? No. <laughs> I'm at eight minutes. Okay. 41 seconds. So you're on it, huh? I think they were going to yell or make some sort of noise, so I just assumed that we'd hear it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to knock. Oh. And I want you to try to finish this knock, okay? We're doing something over there. Are you ready? One more time. Someone's watching. That's done over there. <laughs> so Scott, do you maybe want to do your plasma and I'll take the camera? Okie dokie.
What did you say? Attachment as I mean EMF and MIM? You know, it won't be the first time. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. She's watching. If you want, you can turn the, the light down now that we're done with the. You don't need to see? The dowsing rod. It's too, it's too okay. bright for him. So is it too bright for you, Scotty? It's not. Do you I'm just saying we can turn it down if we don't want it up that high. Oh. Well, I only turned it up so we can see the dowsing rod. Is that better? Yeah, that's fine. Is it doing that again? <laughs> Can you light up one of these lights on the floor where we're waiting? Can you light one of these up, please? <laughs> Who's here with us? Communicating. Communicating? Who's here with us? Can you give us your name? Are the children here? Can you light up one of the balls or the lights on the floor? Are you here with us? Who's here with us? Who's here? Are the children here? If you're here, light up one of the balls on the floor, please. I want my light back. My light back. A light back. Yeah. I don't know if any of you watch the shows. Um, we spend a lot of long hours sitting doing this. When you watch the shows, they're there, they're there for about a week, and they edit everything down to all their evidence. So sometimes you, we stand here and we don't get nothing, and then when we go home, we listen to our evidence, and we get something. So. This is how it usually will happen. What that just say? Who's here with us? Oh, I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> Wow, that's funny. That was good. Can you t tell us your name, please? Uh, is the gentleman that used to work here that is in the suspenders, the tall gentleman, are you here? Hello. Can you give us a name? Lydia. Can I have Penelope? I hear REM pod going off, but it might be where they're at. Can you light up the lights on the floor?
Did you play the organ in here? Did I hear a yes or what, Scott? It's a hard one. Every time we make the time, uh, the, there's multiple channels coming through at the same time, so it's like they're layered. Yeah. Are you, are you the person that played the organ in here? We tried. We tried. Maybe they weren't very good at it. I was just thinking that maybe they weren't very talented at it. Is this where the organ console was or just the pipes? <laughs> Are the children here? Did it say more children? Mm -hmm. So what's up here? Like what? What's up those stairs? What's above us? Um, more rooms. <laughs> Are you upstairs? How much time left? We're at 17 and a half minutes. Okay. Are you upstairs? What the heck? She's ringing the bell. Oh, we gotta go move. We gotta move now. Oh. That's our, our bell to move. <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. I was just thinking that. Yeah. Yes. I was like, ugh. <laughs> Trying to move on. She rang the bell. I forgot about the bell. Oops. Oops. Uh oh. Yeah. That's glad. Just leave it. Just leave it. We can take care of it. We're good. No, it's fine. It's all right. Uh-uh. It fixed my ears. Yeah. All right. We're going to go. What's next? What's the next stop? Could you, you grab this just for a minute, one of you? Thank you. Basement and Cigar Lounge. Okay. Oh, that's my favorite place. Uh, that's my favorite place. Huh? Huh? No, I have to get up off the floor. What happened? What happened? Oh, thank you. It's not very great. You guys want to lead them down to the basement? You, you work here, right? Yeah. Well, you, don't have to. you don't have to if you don't want. All right, everybody follow him.
This was the gentleman's smoking lounge. <laughs> <laughs>